<laughs> this song is hella good though. Uh, all right, let me do something else real quick with a technique I have in my in my in mind. Uh, let me erase wherever this sketchy hand is. There it is. Leave that. Make it really low. I'm gonna try something. Let's see if I can. What was my color palette before? Okay, 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 chill. Wasn't the voice of Faye, the VA for Angel 2? I don't remember, but it could have been. I do feel like the VA for Faye got a lot of work at that time. Why is that so big? <laughs> what the fuck? Did you do that on purpose? What? Why is it so big? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, are you guys seeing what I see? Gigantify an emo, use 30 bits? I never seen this in my life. Is that a thing I have? Oh, there's power ups for bits. Message effects. What else is there? That's it. On screen celebration. Do I have, do I have to pay? What bits? Did I have 40 bits? Wait, what do you guys see? Where did this money come from? <laughs> did I have bits? Yeah, that's a big bitch, dude. What the fuck? It's a bunch of Tommy to creep on uh, your stream. Oh my god. What is this? Wait, can I do it? Can I do it again? <laughs> it's actually pretty tight. Where are my animated ones? So right here. Does it cost me? No charge since this is your channel. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. That'd be like do it for everyone's emote. Papa John dancing. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> That's a good addition. Every single big, every single streamer bigger than me is a hundred thousand percent going to remove that shit. There is no way in hell they're going to keep that. For like, I like obviously I'm going to probably keep it because it's fucking hilarious and it's going to give me money. But you know, but yeah, big streamers are like, this is blocking my whole ass stream. Your message didn't get really affect. There was no like. Message effect? No, it's everywhere? No, but like you can you can 100% turn it off though. It's a redeem feature, so you can turn, you can literally probably turn off power-ups because why would you, why would you make your stream so disruptive? <laughs> Ashley, don't don't use up all your money, dude. <laughs> you might be addicted.
Because it costs to use it? Yeah, so I'm saying, don't uh, don't be addicted. No, but like, even though it costs, it's not something that you can, like, you can turn it off. The, the Gigantify is popular? Oh, uh, I, I guess. I just don't know if it's, I guess you can change the price of it. So if you're a big streamer, you can make it like a hundred billion fucking uh, bits. So people are spending like small fortunes on it. It's like, was it worth it? This is like so cool though. The fact that I can do it for free in my channel is the best part. I'm having more fun than you guys are. <laughs> this is tight. Cool. Rolling in the bit money, make an emote bigger. Yeah, getting paid. That's fucking funny. Funny ass edition. Uh, good find, Ashley. Well, I guess I would have saw it eventually, but it's rare when something even like no new comes to Twitch at all. So that's cool. You guys might never see this again, by the way, when um after the stream ends. Just so you know, before you get too hyped. This is like a nice experiment though I'm doing right now. You had to be here? Yeah. You had to be here, ass art. Oh, the music's hella loud. My bad, guys. Damn, that's an animated emote? That's interesting. It's so small. Could you even see it if it was not small? This shit's the best. We was jamming? Well, I didn't mean it to be that loud. It was pretty... I thought it might have been pretty abrasive, but... We're listening to upbeat... Um, happy and energetic JRPG music. That's the vibes right now. Can you do more than one? Um, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Um, don't look like it. Yeah, it don't look like you can. Yeah, you can only like change the emote, you can't add a new one. Damn it, that would be cool. <laughs> Just the corner eye. <laughs> I was trying to see if I could put them together. <laughs> That's fucking tight.
Okay. A little bit of an experiment happening right now. I might be just too lazy to work on this today. I know what I have to do to make this look as good as possible, but I don't feel like it. It looks pretty cool. Thanks. This is a color experiment. I'm trying to use what I've been using with backgrounds with this to see if it would be uh, how effective it'd be. God, it's got axe. What up? Happy big uh, Thursday. Or actually, it's Friday. If you're on the East Coast, it's Friday. I feel like it'd be pretty cool if uh, I can make like a really simple style for stuff like this. Like rendering style. I suppose it's gonna be hard when I get the certain characters. Like making her red. What's this? Um, just some old Big O artwork. I didn't feel like working on Manon today because it's been kind of stressing me out. So I uh, decided to like not even look in that direction. Her hair outfit's like pink, I think. Not the color I picked. Or maybe it is the color I picked. Whatever. I wonder what some of this stuff is from. This doesn't sound anything familiar. This is Lost Magic? I've never heard of Lost Magic. You should have an emote that goes vertical to be bigger. Oh, to make a long hot dog or something? I mean, I guess technically I could do this. Hold on. No one type anything. Don't type anything. Uh, I can do this. Don't type. And then this. But it still shows. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's just not natural. It just makes it look like it has a very long nose. I'm actually impressed with you guys. You guys didn't even type. Hey, how'd you do that? It's a new feature. Gigantify an emote. It costs bits, but it costs me nothing because I'm a streamer, which is hype. But it's in my, it just randomly showed up because I got jump scared by Ashley using ATP dance in my stream. I was like, why is it so big? I thought it was a bug. But no, it's just Gigantify. Which I'm sad because Ruka didn't get approved yet. My Ruka emote that I just added that Chuck drew. Feels bad, man. Wait, did it? Yeah, no Ruka yet. Womp womp. Meow. <laughs> I'm broke. That shit's such a funny addition. Finally, uh, Twitch does something kind of new and exciting. What is this from? Xenoblade Chronicles? I haven't played this one. Wait, no, is that? No, I haven't played this one. Wait, is that? 
No, it is him. He looks so different in this. I forgot the main character of, uh, I forgot the name of the main character of, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles. Oh, Shulk, Shulk, Shulk. I forgot the HD edition has, like, a bunch of new stuff to it, though. Or the definitive edition. I gotta play that game, because I really liked it when I did play it, finally. Um, I gotta, like, play the... F I gotta get it again and then play it again, but it's definitely still full price. I almost got Zelda um, after talking about um, Skyward Sword yesterday, but that shit costs full price. They best be joking. I thought it might have went down by that point, but nope. They're like, nope, that'll be uh, 60 bucks, please. I'm like, what? Ancient, like, remaster of a game that plays the way it should have played the first time everyone bought it? Damn shame. Damn shame. And Nintendo is going to work. People are going to buy the fuck out of it. It's actually pretty interesting that they... I think it was a pretty cool choice, though. I think um, them selling... I think them remaking, even though I would rather want Wind Waker, I think them remaking Skyward Sword was good because Skyward Sword, I always heard like really bad things about it, but I, I know it's not a bad game, right? So it probably is pretty cool that they like decided, let's like give, there's other people that wanted to try this, let's make it functional and then like now give it to them, you know, for 60 bucks, which is obnoxious as fuck, but still. Tomorrow on Big Friday, I might game, but I don't know what I'll play yet. Um, I, I do got to still kill, you know, uh, what's his name? I got to kill what's his face for the DLC. Damn, 60 still? Rip? Yeah, it's Nintendo Classic, dude. That's Nintendo's MO. Full price or not. Full price or hell no. I play 100 bucks from Remake. I'm a shell. Me too, dude. If they made Wind Waker right now and they were like, that'll be $78, I'm like, sure, dude. I'll pay more. There's certain games that I totally would get a remake for. Roddy to Stories. That's, I don't know if that's ever going to happen. That's like one of my favorite JRPGs ever made as far as like my hours spent on that motherfucker. Man, good game. What's your guys' dream remake? I feel like I've asked you guys this before, but I, I don't remember shit. What would be your dream remake if you were to get one? Legend Dragoon, I go bankrupt? Oh, that'd be it. That'd be 100% it. Legend Dragoon, wallet evas ev eviscerated. I'm just happy they have Legend Dragoon available everywhere. That's what I'm happy about. I'm really excited because there might be more Breath of Fire stuff if Nintendo, uh, not Nintendo, if Capcom actually listens to... Uh, listens to the the poll they made but uh i would like a new breath of fire game from capcom or at least maybe a remake of breath of fire 3 and 4 um that'd be pretty that'd be pretty gas mm -mm. Metroid 1 Remake, Super Metroid Remake would be tight as fuck. I think Metroid... Isn't Super Metroid a remake of Metroid Run 1? Bloodborne? I don't know, dude. Bloodborne's like... Yeah, I don't know. I would love that too, but it just almost feels like it won't ever happen. But have you seen Xbox Series 3, a Summer Games Fest? Probably the closest. Yeah, I watched it on stream. And I was showing you, I was, I was, I, I did bring it up because exactly that reason, because it, it looks like a modern JRPG that we haven't had before. And it has the combat elements of like Lost Odyssey and Legend of Dragoon. With like the 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 timing of like the attack follow ups and stuff like that, and like different characters have different weapons that have different kind of attack follow ups that you have to master as well. It looks pretty cool. I wish the characters didn't look like shit, but I think if anything, this is like a good window into modern games doing the 
like going back to that like if this game is genuinely good because it's on my radar because you know if the story is good maybe i won't give a fuck about character designs or whatever but it's on my radar because of that but if this does really well and people really like it then it could give other studios kind of like other studios might take a peek at it and they're maybe like there's oh there, there's money into this there's money in this and i think probably um it might be less like it'll be easier to sell as a graphical fidelity game because of the combat elements is turn based so you don't really have like this crazy like bombastic engine that has to function perfectly you instead just to focus on you know maybe just aesthetics um when you have something that you know does what it does uh, no, Metroid Zero Mission is. Okay, Metroid Zero Mission is the remake of Super of Metroid 1. And then Fusion's just its own thing. Why'd you write that separately? Why'd that make me so mad? No, Metroid Zero Mission is. Why don't you just write that in the same sentence? That felt like you just pushed up your glasses to say that. And I don't appreciate that. I might need to shove your ass in a locker. Uh, someone shove or bitten in a locker, please. <laughs> Holy shit. That big ass ATP Carl. The Exodus in 3033. Snort. <laughs> I liked that the last thing they said it was snort. But anyway, uh, that game looks tight. That game looks really tight. I was so shocked at the Xbox show altogether. The Xbox show popped the fuck off, didn't it? Um, that game looks really cool. I guess, like, all the games look pretty cool, but I don't really care. The only game that actually broke my neck was that game. So, I don't know. I hope this is a good sign for the future, because there might be more, like, uh... I, I really hope other studios look in the direction and be like, oh, we can do this. And I was wondering, I don't know if you had the same reaction, uh, Galgarax, but when you watched the beginning of the trailer, well, I don't know how you got it fed to you. I think I just watched it because I was like, I never heard of this. But um, I, when I watched the trailer, I had no idea what it was. So I was like, oh yeah, here you go. These fucking graphics, you know? Like the things they usually try to sell you on, like the fine pair of tits and then then the gameplay sucks cock, right? But then when they, they it swapped the gameplay, I was like, what the? I got like, it was like a double take. I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> what is this? Um, yeah, it looks pretty hype. The beginning of the trailer was putting me to sleep until I saw the gameplay, right? That's like literally my exact fucking reaction. I was like rolling my eyes. Here we go again. Triple A jank, whatever the fuck this is. Generic looking ass like character designs. They're not generic, but they're just like, it has that look. It has that look of just like, let's be as graphical as possible ass look. So it was kind of like, yeah, whatever, dude, what is this? And then, yeah, the gameplay kicked in, and I was like, what is the, what the turn base? And I was like, ugh. And it was like three, it was like literally like classic, like JRPG turn base, where it's not, it's like three characters lined up against a big ass monster taking HP and doing, doing damage numbers. I was like, oh, fuck. They look generic to, me, generic to me still. They have like that, like... They definitely have like that triple-A trying too hard-ass, like... What's that one game that came out? Kind of gives me like that, like, uh... What the hell is that game called? It's like some shitty game I've seen before from the past, from like, like PS4 era announcement stuff the order or something yeah, like the order or like the one with the where you're running through the it's like the ghetto destiny where you're like with the mech suits with the weird backwards legs what the hell is that game called again those games it had that kind of like look to it where it's like all it's like a, it's like boring and like 
maybe even over designed in some elements. And then you have like these kind of generic humans that look like actual hu real life people that look gross. So like a lot of that stuff was kind of like, ugh, I don't know. But yeah, that gameplay, that gameplay carried that fucking trailer. I just pray to the gods that it has at least a decent story where I, I'm compelled to go through with it. Because I feel like a game like that can easily have like a boring story that just makes you feel like you wasted your fucking time. And I don't want to waste my time. <laughs> I've flushed many JRPGs that they got me on the, the the appeal and then as soon as the characters started doing stuff, I was like, all right, dude, get me the fuck out of here. I don't even care about what's happening on this game. Um, so I hope it has like a decent story. I need, I need at least, if the combat's nostalgic, cool, but like, I do need the good story to go with it. Anthem, that's the game I'm thinking of, Anthem. Has that kind of like, shitty over-designed anthem kind of thing going on. But yeah, it's cool. I was impressed. Put something while I'm live. Sody seeing on hold on. Hold up. <laughs> what is this? What is this? I can't damn it, I can't full screen it. Alright, I can't pop it out, so I gotta do it the old fashioned way. What the fuck? What is... I gotta watch that show. I keep seeing scenes from it, and it is... Uh, it, it's an interesting show. Smiling Friends? But it's always funny looking. I gotta watch that shit eventually. I must. I must watch it. And I also gotta end stream. <laughs> fuck. It's that time. Is that time? And I'm I'm sick of drawing this. But I might pick it up again. I don't know. I don't like these colors I picked, but uh, whatever, dude. Um, I just wanted. I'm. I was just stalling all day. I'll probably work on this. Tom Actually, tomorrow I'm gonna game or something. So. Oh. We'll uh. We'll pick this up on Big Friday. Uh, what we're gonna end up doing. Um. No. Uh, people are over, people from uh, Oni Plays made the show. I don't know what that is. I burned my pasta. Now it's crunchy and st and sad. How the fuck do you burn pasta? You need a, do you have a guardian with you? <laughs> Burning pasta? How do you do that? Uh, interesting. I'm not gonna judge. I'm, I mean, I'm judging, but like, try to fry. You tried to fry pasta. Someone call the cops on Rainy. Burning pasta. But whatever, guys. Uh, let me um, let me send you guys somewhere else. Anyone else streaming? Doing the doing the streamy stram dance. Uh, uh, Jimbo's playing Onion Ring. Let's go to Jimbo. I don't raid Jimbo. And also don't feel like getting harassed about sharing art. But yeah, guys, thanks for the stream. Thanks for the follows, the all the bit generosities of the gigantic emotes. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I wish they were, hold on, let me just do one more. One more to make myself smile. <laughs> there it is. Hell yeah. Uh, but yeah, guys, it's been a super sick stream. Uh, let's go raid Jimbo. Um, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Yeah, I'll figure out what I'm doing tomorrow. I don't know if I'll play an onion ring or not. We'll see. 
we'll see. If not, I'll play something else, or if I don't do that, I'll just draw more. It just depends on my mood, but, um... Yeah, dude. Uh, nice shot, Ashley. Let's go watch Jimbo die in PvP, I guess. Uh, yeah. Uh, bu 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 bye.